Hey guys, our topic today is the difference between GPRS and 4G. 4G is the fourth generation of mobile networks and it is enabled by a technology called LTE, Long Term Evolution. GPRS stands for General Packet Radio Service and it is a second generation network enhancement which was added to the 2G GSM networks. In simple terms, that means 4G can give you much higher data rates compared to the GPRS technology. When your phone is connected to the 4G networks, you see the 4G or LTE or LTE plus symbol on your phone, whereas when you're connected to GPRS networks or GPRS technology, your phone shows the G symbol. So if you want my honest advice, if you're connected to the GPRS technology, so if you see the G symbol on your phone, you might as well stop browsing because you cannot really do much on your phone with GPRS. On the other hand, if you're connected to the LTE technology, so the 4G networks, then you can get much higher data rates and you can even do HD video streaming on your phone. If we talk about the average download speeds with GPRS and LTE networks, with GPRS you can get an average download speed of 30 to 50 kilobits per second, whereas with LTE Advanced you can get speeds of 50 to 100 Mbps depending on which flavor of LTE you're getting. With the latest enhancements to the LTE networks, you can get download speeds of between 80 to 100 Mbps or even higher. So the speed that you can get on your 4G LTE network also depends on how your mobile network operator has deployed their 4G network. So that's the basic idea of the difference between 4G LTE and GPRS, but if you want to learn more, let's dive into the details. GPRS, or General Packet Radio Service, enhances the most widely deployed second generation mobile networks GSM. It introduced the packet switched technology into GSM network architecture to provide more efficient mobile data than the earlier technology, high speed circuit switch data, HSCST. So while GPRS is just an enhancement to the second generation GSM networks, LTE, or long term evolution of mobile networks, is a leading cellular technology that enables the fourth generation of mobile networks, or 4G. LTE is based on packet switch technology just like GPRS, but the key difference here is that it is not limited to just mobile data, but it also offers voice services and text services directly on packet switched. By using the voice over LTE or VoLTE technology, LTE delivers voice and text on packet switch as internet enabled voice and text. Let's now have a look at this table on the screen to compare the speeds that you get with GPRS and LTE. So on the left side you can see GPRS which is a second generation technology, then it was updated to Edge which is evolved data for global evolution, that's also a second generation. Then you have LTE 4G and then you have LTE Advance which is an enhancement to 4G LTE. GPRS offers peak download speed of 171.2 kilobits per second and average download speed of 30 to 50 kilobits per second. So as you can see, it's not that much at all. Then the edge enhancement increases the peak download speed to 384 kilobits per second and uh, average download speed to 130 to 200 kilobits per second. So what edge does is that it triples the speed of GPRS through something called eGPRS or evolved GPRS. Then you have the 4G LTE technology which offers peak download speed of 300 Mbps and average download speed of 15 to 20 Mbps. Finally, you have LTE Advanced which offers peak download speed of 1 Gbps and average download speed of 50 to 80 Mbps. In this table, we haven't covered LTE Advanced Pro which can offer peak download speed of 3 Gbps and average speed of 80 to 100 Mbps. Thanks for watching the video guys, I've written a detailed post on this topic, have a look at the link in the description below.